In the fourth learning objective for session three, we're going to look at the DuPont identity, a very important relationship uh, between net income and equity. Um, we're going to look at the details of it, how is, uh, the uh, net return on equity was broken into three pieces to better understand how to measure return on equity and, and some actions we can take to improve our net return on equity equation and position in the company. Uh, return on equity, how do we calculate it? Well, it's net income divided by equity. And there's not a real lot there to get your hands around if you're having a problem with your ROE. If your return on equity is going down, you want to know how to uh, move it in the right direction. I guess you could look at increasing your net income or uh, decreasing your equity just on that simple. But really, you don't have a lot of things you can manage or change there. So uh, some of the folks at DuPont broke this uh, equation into parts. And um, they sat around and looked at, well, how can I get my return on equity up? They broke it into three parts. Number one, operating efficiency uh, as measured by profit margin, asset use efficiency as measured by the asset turnover, and then financial leverage measured by the equity multiplier. And how they do that? Well, they took the net income divided by equity and they multiplied by sales over sales and then assets over assets. So in effect, they've been multiplying by one. And they were able to break this uh, ROE net income over equity into three different pieces. So first of all, you see that, and, and just by moving uh, the numerators and denominators around there, they're able to break the net income divided by equity into three pieces, profit margin, which is net income over sales. I, again, I like to call that net return on sales, times asset turnover, which is sales over assets, times assets over equity or equity multiplier. Um, and again, now you have a bunch of things you can change and measure. You can uh, look at your profitability ratio, your net return on sales and manage it. You can manage your total asset turnover, uh, turn your assets into sales more effectively. Or you can look at your equity multiplier, which again is one plus debt to equity. Take on a little more leverage and, and increase your return on equity. Again, you have to be careful there uh, that you don't get too much debt, especially long-term debt over equity. Again, keep it within reasonable um, terms. Like as Mr. Janine said, 33 and a third percent. You start getting above that point, you start feeling a little bit of uh, financial pressure in terms of being able to pay your uh, principal back and also your interest expense.